I've never done anything like this. Yeah, you go ahead and hit it. Um, the sun is already going behind you. Yeah. Dude, we're like 20 seconds out. Yeah, brother. Here's the deal. We came down to Chile. Winter just started. In about five, six days, the great Chilean eclipse is streaking across the Andes, about 500 kilometers north of Santiago, and we're here to capture it. Uh, I will say it's gonna be super challenging. It's early season, it's like mid-December, if you wanna compare it to our winter, so there's not a lot of snow in the mountains, but I think we have enough. And with uh, Manuel Diaz's help and Third Edge Heli, Greg Harms, we kind of got a dream team. And if it's possible, we are going to make it happen. I, you know, I think it's probably safe to say it's the most technically challenging photo I've tried to make so far. Is it a goat? Do you see it go? No. <laughs> Today's our first scout day. So right now, we're about to fly up into the mountains and take a look around. Really don't see any snow. Don't see much snow. Kind of up on top of some of these ridges, we're hoping for like a not very steep, kind of flatter area. I mean, at Eclipse, the uh, the sun's 12.5 degrees above the horizon. Okay, that's pretty low. This looks like maybe one of the more challenging hunting situations. Oh, absolutely. But uh, I think we're going to be able to sniff it out, man. Cool. Welcome to Los Andes, North. <laughs> ah, welcome to the uh, surface of the moon. Looks like we got uh, really optimal snow conditions. Gonna have to really earn. We're gonna have to really earn this one, I'll tell you that much. All right, man, first location check. Gonna ride down, go scope it out. Oh, yeah, man. Woo. Yeah, I think. Pretty hardcore. It's pretty hardcore, but makes sense and it's doable. Be careful of the rocks. Highly reactive wind slab. Pretty wild. So this definitely being, you know, probably one of the more ambitious things I think we've ever tried to do. I mean, as you can see, it's super low snow, and our goal is to get up in the air. You know, that's definitely a little hollow underneath, but... Oh. <laughs> um, luckily, Travis had a couple of areas identified that he thought were too far away that actually ended up being the right amount of distance that I need. But we got tomorrow and we got day of the eclipse to get it completely dialed, and I was really hoping to have, you know, whatever feature we're going to hit um, set tomorrow. Uh, countdown is rapidly ticking away. Day before the day. Feeling good, splitter, bluebird day. I think a million people expecting blue weather. Clear skies for this eclipse is really helping us uh, with the weather out here. 
We're doing all the right stuff, putting the time and effort in. Today we go practice, see if we can pull this off. <laughs> it's a dress rehearsal. Dressed. We have one more day, test the camera, test the flashes. So we'll be super ready for tomorrow and hopefully it works out. This build is... I've never done anything like this. We're like sandwiching in rock with snow. Five hours just farming sugar to get the in run covered. It's kind of crazy, honestly. I mean, basically, we have to get this build right now, otherwise, the snow really doesn't set up. These guys crushed it, got the jump basically done. I got all of my repeaters set up, and we did testing, and it worked, but when I set up my camera and the flashes, nothing. We got nothing. Tomorrow's game plan, Groundhog's Day, day four. Go up into the mountains and get ready to uh, go like this and see if we can make it work. Today's the day. Me, it's me amigos. Prepared, ready. See this? No concern on this face. <laughs> See this face? There's some concern on it. Still have a full day for sure. We have to get the in run better dialed, we have to get the jump finished, and then we have to work on the landing. So right now it's the landing's just this like hard wind slab over sugar. So we have to go in and try to break up the wind slab without popping the wind slab and our landing slides away. It's this deep on rocks. So, good luck and wait for the darkness. Was there any signal received at all right there? Uh, the relay system tested fine until we set it up with flashes and then for whatever reason they decided it didn't want to work. Uh, Travis came up with a good idea where during totality and I'm gonna open the shutter the moment somebody leaves the lip and then we have Greg Harms up there who's gonna fire the flashes up from the top. So all of a sudden it's turned into a really collaborative photograph. Game on. Yeah, guys. Alright, team, are you ready for me to go? I'll try to run up right now. Try to run up right now. Hold on. Fuck, man. Fuck. This is terrible. It's impossible to move. Dude, we're like 20 seconds out. I'll tell you what, man. This is easily the most stressed out I've ever been. You see the shadows are like both? Like, no, I know, I see, see it, that? it's crazy. I've never seen it. Like fucking insane, dude. Oh, that's fucking crazy, dude. Let's get this flash shot going where we're in right now. Yeah, brother. This is insane, man. It's insane. All right, let's get, let's get ready. All right. Shit. All right, I'm ready. Uh, we are losing it really rapidly. We got to go, go, go. Sorry. Okay. Drop now, drop now. Go, go, man. Right. Go, man. Big, dude. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers, buddy. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It was worth trying, but it didn't work. It's 
all she wrote. Kicker session, finished. What's the quote, right? Uh, success is not final and failure is not fatal. So, just, you know, keep shooting. Maybe come up with some other harebrained thing we can pull off. is almost kind of just finishing right now that's i think i think one of the beautiful things about challenging yourself to do really complicated or difficult things and putting kind of an artistic vision in place is that uh you know oftentimes there's more failures than there is successes um and i think it's for me it's always kind of hats off for those willing to take the risks and we took the risk. 